supporting each other, their families and the community. In the history of Freemasonry, which spans 128 years in its current state, but was visible in Victoria many years before, and there are few who understood the teachings of compassion, like Sir William John Clark. In fact, the cornerstone of our organisation is charity, and Sir William Clark was fortunate to have that present in his DNA. Sir William Clark gave generously to charitable organisations and was a great benefactor to many institutions. The building fund of the St Paul's Cathedral benefited from his philanthropic givings and as we have heard as did Trinity College. But he was also a visionary with his charity ensuring that Indian famine relief and Irish, Irish relief funds were not precluded from his generous donations. But today I will content in Sir William's Masonic heritage. He held provincial Grand Master titles in each of the constitutions which prevailed in Victoria in the early 1880s. They were the Irish, the English, and the Scottish constitutions, and on being admitted <coughs> into Robbie Burns Lodge under the Victorian constitution in 1883, was one of the few, if any, who held membership in all four constitutions. He was a unanimous choice for Grand Master when these four constitutions, or the three constitutions, joined with the Victorian constitution in 1889 to form the United Grand Lodge of Ancient, Free and Accepted Masons of Victoria. Sir William Clark was therefore instrumental in forging the early years of an organisation which has survived 128 years. He was also instrumental in commencing the Freemasons Benevolent Fund with a generous donation. That fund has now morphed into the Freemasons Foundation Victoria Limited until, and from that early giving now boasts a corpus of approximately $50 million. The legacy of Sir William Clark lives on today with the Freemasons Foundation supporting Victorian philanthropy in the order of $2 million per annum. I very much appreciate the invitation to be here today as the 45th Grand Master of Freemasons Victoria and for our organisation to join with our foundation in supporting the restoration, along with others, of this grave which holds a deep and meaningful part of Masonic history. Thank you.